Hey guys, it's Full Cards here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York. And in front of me today, I have a little blaster from the recent past of 2016-17 uh, MVP, which is a well-known, well-worn, uh, often torn open product. Uh, really happy to open a box like this because it's super affordable and it has 24 packs. It's uh, loaded with goodies and of course it would be the rookie year of one Austin Matthews, although that is a super rare redemption within a retail box. But let's take a little peek, a little poke, a little gander, a little look, a little stab at our odds, so to speak. So you can see quite a bit here. Uh, so five cards per pack, 24 packs per box. Silver scripts deliver one in five, so that'd be five silver scripts in 24, right? Uh, puzzle backs would be inserted one of four, which means six puzzle backs. High series uh, short prints fall one and two. They are the prints over card number 200. They would be every second pack. Uh, what else do you need? Gold scripts, number to 125. NHL territories, one in 20, so one per box. Leading lights, one in 40, so two per, oh, I guess one per two boxes. NHL uh, territory materials, material cards, one in 1,400 plus would amount to one in 60 boxes. Uh, so I don't think that is necessarily going to happen. Pro sign autos, one in three, what is it, 1,325? Uh, that would be one in 97 boxes. Rookie Redemptions would be uh, of the divisions, right? Those Rookie re Redemptions, those are sort of one of 4,000, which is one in 167 boxes. It's not going to happen. And the NHL Draft Redemption of Austin Matthews is one in 12,000, so that's one in 520 some odd boxes. 21, I think. So that's all craziness. I do actually already have those redemptions, so I'm not too um, pressed to uh, necessarily land those cats because I've already landed them. Uh, it's more about a 15, 12, 15 dollar box with 24 packs, rife with base and a few short prints and some puzzle backs. And uh, you get a look at the beautiful rookie class from 2016, 17, mindful of the fact that the best rookies were within the redemption, divisional redemptions. Uh, so you don't get all those redemptions. You do get Mike Riley, who uh, is on the Haps presently. Uh, he was a fourth round draft pick, uh, and he's done fairly well. Uh, and you get guys like Josh Morrissey. You could get Charlie Lindgren from the Habs. Uh, you could get Casperi uh, Kapanen, I think Brown from the Leafs. So there are a couple, Killington from um, Calgary. There definitely are a few uh, of the sort of what I would call base uh, rookies you could potentially get. So here are all our packs. How clean Jean is this? This is really nice. And there's the empty box. Uh, it's a super little box, uh, but it packs a punch. It's really hefty uh, to lift and so on. So I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of MVP, again, because it's very inclusive. I know a lot of people break these products. Uh, I thought I would uh, at a really minimal uh, nominal price point. And, and beautifully, uh, luckily, uh, we do have Jonathan Tate's on the cover, and I am a big proponent, supporter, lover of uh, Jonathan Tate's and his uh, dynasty. So let's see what we get, all that having been squared away and said uh, at the three minute mark of my long, elongated videos. We have Thomas Vanek, we have Bodker, and we did hit the rookie card of Charlie Lindgren right off the bat. Uh, as a Habs fan, that makes me happy. As Charlie Lindgren, man, uh, I think he's undrafted, actually. Shown a lot of promise. Of course, it's difficult to displace Niemi, who has a cup, and uh, Price, who has a ridiculous amount of hardware. Um, and Charlie Lindgren has ha shown some flashes in his few NHL games. Uh, this would be, of all the rookie cards, a Habs fan, uh, who is a Plant fan and a Roi fan, <laughs> loves seeing this. Uh, we also have Patrick Sharp as well as Andre Markov, uh, who went to the KHL, who I, I adore and think is one of the most underrated defensemen in the history of the game. Uh, so this is what the back of the cards look like. Uh, your typical glossy, super glossy, sort of industrial uh, cards. And we in these, uh, none of these are high series, except for, I assume, this would be the one high series card in this particular pack. Uh, nice, right? So I even hit the mark off. So we're going to have to, I should scooch through these because uh, 24 packs is slow, certainly uh, as candid and forthcoming and deliberate and wordy as I am. So let's let's crack right through them then. we got Boone Jenner, we got Abdul Kader, we got Abdul Kader again, so that's kind of bizarre and weird. 
uh, and we got we have Rask and we have Elliot. Uh, note that this abdicator would happen to be, uh, as you can tell, as you can see, as you can uh, divine, a duck a puggle, puggle, puzzle back. Okay, uh, and I don't believe any of the others were puzzle backs, so we'll keep an eye out for the puzzle backs as well. Okay, and the puzzle backs again would be six puzzle backs total, one and four. Mata, Bukestad, uh, Anze Kopitar, Tyler Johnson, who's a bit of a wizard, uh, like a Mitch Marner Light, and a Nazim Kadri, uh, who as a Habs fan, I shall not discuss at all. These all are base except for this one here. The Anze Kopitar is a high numbered series card. So that would be that. Uh, what I also like about MVP packs is they seem to open up fairly easily, typically. They're uh, nice, they're really nice packaging, actually, with the, with the red. Okay, we got Zab uh, Zabinajad. We have Scott uh, Hartnell. We do have Patrice Bergeron. This would happen to be a silver, silver um, script, and it's a high-numbered silver script at that, so that's what we can put aside. Uh, Mike Ribeiro and Justin Williams. Justin Williams, who uh, I believe not only hoisted uh, the cup, he um, hoisted the Conn Smythe, which says a lot about his type of game. Tyson Barry, Andrew Hammond, Taylor Hall, Brandon Dubinsky, and Andre Palat. And we look at the backs of these, and we do have one high numbered card, and it would happen to be the Taylor Hall. Okay, so we can sort of put that in with our mix over there. Uh, let's keep on ripping, roaring, and uh, punching through those. I can't believe I got Charlie Munger in the first one I would get. That's, that's typical of my Habs mojo. Uh, we got Chara. We have Tyler Innes, who's, uh, you know, showing some glimpses this year. Phil Kessel, Phil the Thrill, Marin Gabrick, and David Dernay, who I believe also was undrafted and still put up some 60 points in the NHL one year. As you can see, right... There. Do I lie? I don't lie. So, uh, and one of these is the puzzle back, and it would be this one here. And we can see uh, that this would happen to be a flyer. Uh, I will let you guys guess at the puzzle backs. Um, I think it's a fun game to play, but I'll let you guys do it. And we have Dylan Larkin, who's definitely uh, coming of age this year. We have Jonas Hiller. Uh, he, again, was a steady uh, Freddy goaltender with the Ducks for many years, known for his very basic uh, designs on his helmet, like pure black. Voracek, Patrick Kane, and Chris Kunitz. And the Patty Kane is the last card on the entire checklist. It would be uh, the checklist, <laughs> the checklist on the checklist, and Jacob Voracek uh, would be the high-numbered card. Usually the easiest way to tell what uh, the back of a, what the puzzle back piece is, is to um, compare it in contrast to the card of that player. Uh, I believe they're exact, exactly the same typically. There's no Hannafin who's actually doing a really de decent job this year. I believe he's with your uh, Calgary Flames now. Antiniemi, if I'm wrong about anything, just correct me. Antiniemi, who's with the Habs uh, and has hoisted the cup. Uh, he was the first one to hoist it with uh, Chicago during in uh, during the Taves years, I believe. Tanner Pearson, uh, who is now with the Pens. Johnny Quick and Jeff Carter. Johnny Quick is healthy again. And Johnny Quick has the best name for a goaltender. Period. Johnny Quick. Man, he's like an octopus. I love his game. We do have another, uh, we have some, another rookie in here, so let's see who we have uh, gotten. We've got Barkov, and these are our two sort of inserts, so let's see. We got Mike Green is doing a great job this year with uh, with Detroit. He's, he's pretty much, he's a serious quarterback back there, very offensive. Uh, Jacob Silverberg, and we do have a silver script here, and it would be Scotty, Hart Scotty Hartnell, uh, who you remember with a bunch of teams. I believe he played with the Preds, he played with, um, with the Flyers, and we have a rookie, and 
And we got Connor Brown. That's nice. So we're hitting we're hitting the Canadian rookies, if you will. I like that. I love that. So we got the Lingren rookie and we got the Connor Brown. That's really nice. Pretty, pretty cool. Pretty neat. So Connor Brown was drafted in 2012, and he was actually a sixth rounder. Um, I believe he was like 156 overall, and he's I think he's played over 200 games at this point, hasn't he? Am I am I wrong? He's definitely played a lot of NHL games. Uh, Cam Atkinson, who's having a great year. Joel Ward, Boom Jenner, uh, Let Latera, and Jason Spezza. And our puzzle back piece would be this one here. Maybe it's Getzlaff. Maybe we've maybe we've deciphered that our puzzle backs are Getzlaff. Uh, and Jason Spezza again, who was a second overall pick uh, by Ottawa, and who has over a thousand games, thousand eighteen at this point in counting, and uh, nineteen and uh, and plus nine hundred points in his career. So he's hit that beautiful watermark. There's Alex Tonke of the Habs and. Uh, and flames and avs and etc etc that's very cool uh alex tonge johnny oduya another great hockey name the nuge who is our high numbered card as well as ryan mcdonough who's people will be talking about the norris this year and and chucky who's now with arizona the chucky max stoney trade what do you guys think of that I'd like to hear your comments. Uh, I'm a big, big proponent of that trade. I liked, I liked Max. I saw him play uh, at the Bell Center when he, with the World Juniors, and he had two breakaways in that game. And I was like, this guy, his acceleration is beyond elite. If he can commandeer it, and his shot is actually great too. Uh, very passionate kid too. I, th I love that trade for the Habs. It's a good trade probably for both teams. There's Jordan, Th Jordan Stahl. We have Vertanen. We have France Nielsen, we have Broussard, and we have Pasta. Pasta is a machine and a monster and a Leafs killer. Sorry, Leafs. I'm, I'm a big fan of the Leafs, man. I know I'm a Habs fan and all that, but I just like when organizations are well put together, and you guys are well put together at this point. So I, I just love the game, and I love the talent, and I have nothing negative to say about the Leafs right now, absent uh, Nazem Kadri, of course. I know, I know. Don't say anything. Or comment, tell me, tell me, let me know. Ben Bishop, Ryan Miller, uh, both epic goaltenders. There's Braden Shen. And we have Jordan Eberle, Silver Script. That's pretty nice. It's kind of weird, these Silver Scripts. It's actually hard to see his auto in this one. Bizarre. And Glenn Anderson, which would be the high-numbered series because he is a legend, so that would automatically have to be a high-numbered series card. Okay, still trying to scroll through all these cats. It's taking a bit, taking a minute. Jake Muzzin, who is a very solid defenseman. Jake Allen, who I actually recommend in hockey pools, perhaps not this year because they're disastrous. This would be a puzzle back. It seems like all our puzzle backs, it's Getzlaff, isn't it? It's still get. I think we've got three pieces of Getzlaff. Uh, and I have a, a Getzlaff hater who, who watches these videos. Uh, what's up, brother? Um, but I love your opinions. And there's Greg, uh, Craig Anderson, who's third oldest goaltender in the league now, uh, who's had a great career, uh, so over 400 games, right? So let's see how many games he's played at this point in by 2000. Yeah, he's, we're talking a guy who puts 500 games. Uh, and then Justin Schultz. Probably a watermark for goaltenders over 500 games, while well, for other play players it's more like a thousand games. Colin Wilson, Patrick Eliash, Taylor Tyler Sagan. There's Phil the Thrill again, and uh, Yuri Hoodler. So here, this one here, the Tyler Sagan would happen to be the high numbered card. Sometimes I don't separate out the high numbered cards. I don't think they're necessarily. Because they're one in two packs, right? So they're not necessarily that difficult to amass. Uh, we do have we do have a an insert here. So let's see what it is. We have Verbata, Adam Larson, Kyle Palmieri is having a ridiculous year, Carl Haglin, and then we have a Mark Shifley leading lights. So these are the leading lights. What did I say they were? I think I said they're every two boxes, right? So we weren't guaranteed one of these. 
I'm pretty sure these are every two boxes. They're one in 40, so that's interesting to get that. Were any of these the high number cards? Just backtracking for a, for a little second. Nope, not necessarily. Not at all. Uh, continuing on, ripping and roaring through this mix of MVP. MVP is fun because it's, you know, 20, about 12, 14, 15 dollars maximum. I paid like 12 dollars for this. And you get 24 packs in these blasters. No colors and contours would be the, the setback, I would say. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Uh, we have Thomas Tatar. Thomas Tatar. I don't know, I have to, I have to say that better. But Thomas Tatar. <laughs> of your Montreal Canadiens. That's really nice to see. He's having a great season. Shane Doan, who's retired. He was a beast for many, many years. Look at look at his numbers. of Look at his games played. 1,466. That is just fantastic. Bravo, Shane Doan. And we have a rookie card, and it's of Nick Paul. Okay, it's of Nick Paul. Not much to say about Nick Paul. <laughs> But uh, I'll add him to the mix. We, we have gotten a couple of good ones, so I'm pretty happy with our haul thus far. I'm always happy with the haul because I'm very sort of inclusive. That's my mojo, that's my motto, that's my thing. Uh, I believe we have a silver script here. We have Olimata, which is a puzzle back. Uh, yeah, that would happen to be an oil, I guess. And we have Tara Vinen, Keith Yandel, is journeyed a bit. Breco and Tyson Barry. That's a nice silver script, Tyson Barry. He is solid, stellar. Look at his numbers. His numbers are actually fantastic. We're talking about a D here. Keep that in mind. You put up that you put up that percentage of points per game. That is pretty impressive. The Avalanche are absolutely scary. They have the best first line in hockey, which is amazing because hockey includes lines such as the Tavares Marner line and the uh, the McDavid Dreisaitl line. So, why is this tinted green? I don't know what is up with these cards. Are they all tinted like that? This is so weird to me. Just card 132. I don't believe this is a parallel of any sort. I think it's just the the thing in the background that sort of bled. It's bizarre. I don't know what the deal is with that. Okay, uh, Frolic, Claude Giroux. Uh, I can say all kinds of wonderful things about Claude Giroux, but he should have been drafted by the Habs, and I think that's why I'm always a little bit tempered when I talk about closure, but again, look at him. He's basically, he's been a point, a, a game guy his entire career. Uh, but he's from Ontario, isn't he? He's not from Quebec. I, yeah, he's from Hearst, Ontario. Yeah, I, Quebecers really are sort of crestfallen that he wasn't drafted. And Nino, Nina Ryder, Nino, Nina Ryder, uh, was any of, were any of those the, uh, the closure would have been a high numbered card. Okay, continuing on, rolling through, like a really slow, laborious uh, freight train. There's Tyler Myers, and Nishkinen, and Corey Crawford, who has two cups, uh, and he's from Montreal, actually. I can tell you for a fact that this kid's from Montreal. Does it say, oh, there it is. And, you know, and he, he came of age really late. Corey, something about goaltenders. If a goaltender's 25 years old and he's still in the AHL, don't give up on him. Uh, I think he broke into the league and sort of secured his spot around, you can see there, you'd have to do the math, but around 24, 25, he finally starts showing his real flashes. And a couple of years later, he, he, was a, he won the cup. So uh, I just think goaltenders, they developed still to this day slower than the rest. Uh, there's Jonathan Bernier. Talk about a journeyman, this guy. An accordion uh, ego and um, an accordion uh, confidence level for that particular goalie. And we did hit, we hit, we hit a Gabe Landeskog. Really nice. So these are one per box and we hit the Gabe Landeskog. Landy, uh, as uh, my boy uh, Avalanche fan likes to call him. Uh, 
beautiful card. So this, of course, obviously is a high numbered card. Nice. Let's keep on rolling right through here. Again, no colors in common. There's Miko Koivu. Uh, of course, uh, his brother was the ha captain of the Habs for many years. He actually had a really solid, quiet, solid career. Matt Zuccarello, there's uh, Johnny Taves, Ryan Kessler, as well as Nick Backstrom. Nick Backstrom's so good. Uh, so Johnny, Johnny T would be the high number card. Let's see what else we get here. Last little, last little punch at uh, this and that. Tori Krug, Robbie Fabry, Gary Hoodler, Derek Stepin, and Ryan Strom. And the puzzle back piece would happen to be the Yuri Hoodler. Uh, and that would be that. And the and that's it. Yeah. And then finally, two last packs, guys. Uh, a lot of fun. Uh, again, you know, you don't get all the inserts as you do. It is well worth it to buy the hobby boxes of this because you get a couple of other goodies uh, inserted within. Um, but I, I don't mind doing these as well. There's Sam Bennett, uh, who's finally starting to do a little bit of something something. Uh, Brayton Holtby, Mike Smith, and then Rattanen, who's like leading the scoring race. He's a monster. And then uh, Michael Grag Granlund, Kel Granlund. And that would be our Silver Scripts. All right, last pack in this act. Oh, I think I got something here. Let's see what it is. Alexander Steen, Dougie Hamilton, I see Dougie Hamilton, Mike Hoffman, Peter Holland, and this, my friends, would be a gold script or superscript or whatever it's called. Boom! Nice! So we got a David Perron. I think he's also out of Quebec. I'm pretty sure he played in the queue. We got a David who's now on St. Louis, but he's a very able, capable, uh, solid uh, winger. Nice. And he is from Sherbrooke, Quebec, which is just outside of Quebec. So he is, in fact, what you would sort of more or less call a Montrealer. Very cool. It's really nice to get one of these. So that's numbered uh, to 165, like 145 and 165. Nice to spike one of these. I don't know if we guarantee them. They don't provide odds on this. I think they just say that they're numbered, right? So we did get a gold script. So that would be the hit of the box. Okay, well, let's do a little bit of what I would term a recap. Uh, okay, guys, time for the recap. So in terms of base, we received this massive stack plunk of the base, very uh, substantial cardboardy, uh, glossy fare per usual for MVP with a brown tint and tinge and look. Uh, what else did we receive? We definitely got some puzzle pieces. We always get a few of these. We're guaranteed one in four and we receive six. So that would be one in four because there's 24 packs. Uh, and I can just run through them quickly. You can glean them and see them with your eyes, feel the thrill. We got Boon Jenner, Verbata, uh, and a lot of it appears to be pieces of Getzlaf. Getzlaf, I believe it's his leg or foot or something. If it's not, just uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, in terms of high numbered cards, uh, high number cards. We were supposed to receive, I believe, one every two packs. The base set goes from one through 200 and above and beyond that you have uh, fairly um, superstars and so on, as well as some legends interspersed. Uh, we did get Anze Kopitar. We have Jonathan Taves and Claude Giroux. Uh, the Nuge, Tyler Sagan, Sam Bennett, Glenn Anderson. So Glenn Anderson, of course, would be a legend. Uh, Jacob Voracek, Taylor Hall, and this actually is the last card on the base checklist, and it is the checklist on the checklist uh, to be redundant and uh, and to say the same things twice over and over again multiple times. Uh, in terms of silver scripts, we did receive uh, silver scripts. We're supposed to receive five because they're one in five. Uh, so let's see if we receive five. Yeah, we, we did. We have Patrice Bergeron. We have Tyson Barry, Scotty Hartnell, uh, Grandland, as well as Jordan Eberle. So these would be our silver scripts. Uh, pretty nice. Uh, these particular silver scripts aren't terrible, but it's actually difficult to uh, distinguish the auto. So that would be the one disappointment in this year's particular design. Every year they sort of tweak it a bit. Sometimes it gets better, sometimes it gets worse. 
Uh, in terms of NHL territories, those are those deliver one per box uh, because they're one in twenty, and we receive the Tyson Barry, who's having a great year. He's he's just actually a very very solid hockey player. Uh, and this is what the NHL territories look like. So that would be that. Uh, one every two boxes, they do deliver on the leading lights, and we actually hit one, and we hit Mr. Shifley. So that's kind of nice. I mean, Shifley's had a really nice career thus far. He's played almost 400 games and put up some 320 plus points uh, and 160 penalty minutes. He's a very solid player, and uh, so it's nice to see him in our leading lights department. Uh, beautiful card and it's still as you see it's on the checklist the checklist above the 200 and above the 300 run uh, these numbers this one then this one uh, those particular checklists which is a very simple clear uh, way to do it we did receive a hit in the box um, albeit a middling modest uh, hit we actually received one of the superscripts uh, so that's kind of nice that's kind of groovy I mean David Paraman uh, he's he's played over 700 games. He's very slowly, meticulously put together uh, a very solid career. Even though he's journeyed around a bit, he's, he's a left winger. You can see, um, you know, here you see that it's this card's numbered. Of course, it's numbered uh, to 165, I believe, 145, 65. Yeah, something to that effect. But I mean, here's a guy who also will have put up good 500 points in his career, and and he's really getting there. I mean, he's over 750 games at this point. So that's really fantastic and spectacular. These gold scripts, uh, they deliver, I think they're called, I they call them gold scripts, sometimes super scripts, gold scripts, you correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but it's not, they aren't guaranteed in the box. So it's nice to get one actually in a blaster box. In terms of the rookies, we did receive a couple of rookies. So that's kind of cool. We did receive uh, a guy by the name of Nick Paul. We did receive Charlie Lindgren. Uh, he's the one guy I, as a Habs fan, would ultimately want to hit. Uh, he was undrafted, um, but he, I think he's—I think he was out of St. Cloud State. Uh, that's how they—that's how they uh, developed him. Um, and hopefully, he'll be able to beat his way into the uh, lineup. And the very interesting thing about Lindgren—you might not know this—notice the Grand Fuhr stance. He's actually—he uh, catches right. Little known fact. And there's Connor Brown. Uh, so we also got Connor Brown, which is really, really nice. I mean, he's a solid guy. He's been around for a while. He was actually sixth rounder. Uh, and he's, uh, as I said, I, I think he's played already about 200 games, which is great. Uh, we didn't get the redemptions. The redemptions were, were not guaranteed. The auto redemption, or the pro sign autos, are one in 2,000 plus, or the one in 97 boxes. While the rookie redemptions, uh, the divisional ones, are one in 167 boxes. And the draft pick redemption of Austin Matthews is one in 521 boxes. So uh, I already actually have those. Uh, I actually have those, so I'm not too disturbed or um, perturbed by that. But that's basically it, guys. An interesting little uh, fantastical uh, box of the fun uh, and uh, replete uh, MVP. So very affordable, only about like 12 bucks for a blaster like this and, it, and you get 24 packs. So I recommend it. Please leave me a like. Uh, even if you dislike the break, leave me a like and just let me know uh, what I should do to uh, improve myself. Uh, that's basically it guys. Please subscribe, please subscribe, please subscribe. Tell your friends about it. I'm gonna be breaking old school uh, products. I typically break older school products. I'm Fulton Cards, live and direct from a place called Brooklyn, New York. Mm -hmm.